Advanced science and technology and big data applications allow us to avoid a traditionally rigid management model in online monitoring, differential management, and staggering peak production. Data also makes pollution containment more accurate and efficient. We may by no means sacrifice our eco-environment for temporary economic development. We strive to maintain economic growth while effectively controlling pollution. I do believe that one of the things that China has going for it that could help to speed up um, progress is a real embrace of technology. There's been quite a bit of progress that's made in the, in the last few years in reducing emissions. Some people say that that's simply due to an economic slowdown. When you talk about this throwing down, actually in China, recent uh, 10 years, the decrease is a growth rate decrease, but it is still growth. <laughs> you, you say the Beijing's GDP is going up, which means the activity is increased and the total generation of the pollution is increased. But the actual situation is the total emission is decreased. We're never going to win if the only way that we're going to deal with pollution is to put it, take it outside the economy. Mm -hmm. We have to deal with it within the economy yeah, because right. we live within the economy. Yeah. In China, in different regions, we say the environment action will help to improve the economic pattern more healthy, not only for environmental parts, mm -hmm. but also for market competition.